Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you the latest in our color study series, the analogous color harmony. This is the third in the seven part series. If you missed previous issues, check them out on our website. They're in the video library at FlowerSchool.com. The analogous color harmony is made up of related colors that blend well. And one way I remember analogous is that it's adjacent colors. So when you look at the wheel, you would pick a key color, for example, yellow, and then pick adjacent colors, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, stopping before you get to another primary color. It's adjacent colors that form a 90 degree angle that includes one primary color. And it doesn't mean I have to start with yellow. I can just have yellow be in the middle. Pick yellow, yellow, orange, orange, stop, don't go to red, and then go back and pick up the yellow green, picking up a spectrum this direction. So if you think about it, it's cutting the color wheel into pieces of pie, four equal pieces. It's a 90 degree angle, and then any way that you switch it, it's still analogous. So it can be yellows to the greens, greens to violets. Pick violet, go over to the orange, but adjacent colors. Now when you describe an analogous color harmony, many times you'll hear it referred to as warm colors. All of the fire colors, or cool colors. All the water colors. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as feminine or masculine, but that's just another way to describe the analogous color harmony. When choosing flowers for an analogous color harmony, it's easiest to pull out the wheel and look at it, picking your key color first. So I'm going to work with orange, and I have some beautiful, beautiful orange ranunculus. Then I look at the wheel, and I decide what colors can I choose, and I can move over towards the yellow, and on into the green, and that's what I've done. I took the orange ranunculus, a little bit of the yellow acacia, and then some beautiful mint green carnations, combining them all, and the colors blend beautifully. You can see how summery and sweet, just colors blending nicely together. Now if I want to add foliage, I could add Galix, and yes, this is still in the green family, so it still matches, but in reality, when we add foliage to a design, we consider it a backdrop, and we don't normally count it into the color harmony. It just happened to fit with this one being yellow, orange, and green. The analogous color harmony with the orange and the yellow and the green is very pleasing. But you can also take your orange and go the other direction, towards the reds and the violets, combining the orange with a very hot, vibrant pink, and then adding vibrant purple, yet again creates a beautiful color harmony, but unexpected, not quite what you had thought when I started with the orange and yellow, but isn't that beautiful as well? As you explore working with the analogous color harmony, you'll discover it's one of the most easy and forgiving color harmonies to work with. The colors being adjacent just blend together so well. So to get started, all you need to do is look at your color wheel. Pick your favorite color, any one of them, and then choose adjacent colors going outward to that 90 degree wedge, then start creating. If you've got questions, if you need more information, or to find the whole series on color, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you have to call me, use the 800 number. It's 800-819-8089. And of course, you can always reach me through my email. My personal email is leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. For now, have fun with color. Get out there and create a lovely analogous design and do something you love.